So you come into the front doors here. Erin McKinnon says building this community hall was a project designed to build people up after their collective safety had been shattered. There's still moments of insecurity, of course. McKinnon lives in Portapique and was here the night one of her neighbors went on a rampage, killing 22 people, some of them her friends. Some people here felt they had to attend the release of the Mass Casualty Commission's final report. Others couldn't. I knew that that would trip me up um, and it would be really hard for me. But she says people she trusts were following closely. People like Alana Hurdle, who was in the room. It was so quiet, it was almost eerie. She says it's appropriate the report is a scathing rebuke of the RCMP. You hate to say that the system fell down, but it did completely. McKinnon says she agrees a complete overhaul of policing in Canada is necessary. It's the system. It's definitely the system. If, if they need more training, if they need more understanding, then they need to put those things in place. The commission also found there is a public health emergency in the communities most affected, the result of an unmet need for mental health support arising from the tragedy. A situation still so urgent, the commission wants the federal and provincial governments to create a program to address it within one month. It's the very first deadline in the report. It's not easy to seek help, but it's really not easy when, that, when you go for help, it's not, it's not available to you. She's calling on governments to implement the recommendations, but says building this hall to help the community move forward is her focus. We want people to grow here and we want to give them hope. Something even more important with the third anniversary of those two terrible days just over two weeks away. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Portapique, Nova Scotia.